Hey guys, it's Anatoly. Welcome to Define Agile YouTube channel. And today we want to talk about how to create a sprint report in Jira. Before we do that, two things. If you want to learn Jira from basic to advanced, I have a course. Go to get my help section and check it out. A lot of people went for it and they found it very, very useful. You can learn Jira in about one day. Second thing is, if you're completely stuck and need somebody to help you out with certain issues in Jira, I have a consulting so you can schedule a time with me or somebody from my team and we will walk you through. It's on hourly basis so you don't have to commit for a long time. You just, we're going to sit down and solve your actual problems, which is very rare. Nobody else does it, but I just want to help as many people as I can. So now how do we create sprint reports? So let's say you just started and you don't see any sprint reports. Um, so for that, you need to sprint. So let's create one story. Let's create a sprint. Where did my story go? My story was not created. Okay, here we go. It's refreshed. Here it is. So I'm putting both of my stories into a sprint. I'm starting a sprint. I click start. So here's my sprint. And then let's say in progress and done. So I completed my two issues and everything is done or not done. Sometimes things are not done, but you have zero days remaining. To see a sprint report, you need to complete the sprint. So a lot of people like, I wanna see a sprint report where a sprint report will only come at the end of the sprint. As soon as I click complete sprint and I click complete, I will get to exactly sprint report. So if you don't see sprint report, it means you just have one sprint you have not completed. So here's my sprint report. My burn down chart looks like this because I just completed everything in one day. Uh, this usually should go like boom, 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 slowly burning through stories. Then uh, there's a completed issues versus not complete issues. If you estimate, it will show how story points changed and stuff. So it's very, very useful. I always sit down with my team after a sprint and look at sprint report. And then we make some decisions and we look at stories, what happened with them. So it's very, very useful. The way to get it is to complete your sprint. Click complete and you'll see your sprint report. Hope it brought you value. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. If you need any help, um, you know where to get me, go to get my help section and please like and subscribe if you think this is valuable for you because it will help us spread to more and more people. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.